Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Who goes there? Oh, it's just another dream. Hey guys, and welcome back to The Lonely Assassins, episode three. So, this is gonna obviously be a continuation for the other episodes. If you haven't seen them, go check them out but yes the intro was actually inspired very very heavily by a nightmare I actually had due to this game so let's continue on because if it's already giving me nightmares I want to get it out the way as soon as I can <laughs> continue Okay, and before I do absolutely anything else, yes, I have noticed the shadow people in the background. I noticed it when it was a lot weaker. However, just due to editing, that bit got cut out. So, yeah, so it didn't actually show me acknowledging these. But yes, I was very aware of them, and I, I did make a bit of a point about them. But just due to editing, I had to cut that bit out. Okay, so also, I noticed as I was exiting last episode, there's a list of things. This is what we have left to solve. So, okay, so we've definitely got to fill in that uh, missing report thing. Let's focus on the missing persons thing. What I do wonder is if this is case sensitive it might be and i just might not be un might have been unaware of that fact because i noticed i'd last episode i'd only wrote it in lower case so i'm going to try it in upper case so i believe the information here is correct i believe she went missing on the 17th she lives at 71 timber street she's 45 she has brown eyes and female. Now, I, pr I did this exact thing last time, except I didn't put a capital T and capital S on the name. So if this is wrong, I don't know why it's wrong. Oh my God, it was case sensitive the entire time. I could have done this last episode if I'd known it was bloody case sensitive. Right. So yes, here we go. So Nat, of course. Of course we're finding Nat. Ah, oh, bloody case sensitive. That's, that's pissed me off a little bit, that has. Update from your buddy. I'm afraid it's not good news. I asked around and you were pretty much the last person to see Natasha. No signs of forced entry or anyone coming over the fence into your house. And from what you tell me, pretty much all personal effects are still in the house. So she clearly didn't go anywhere on her own. Checked in with a couple of pals at Scotland Yard too. Had them run every database I could think of. Not a sniff. Not in the whole of London. I hate to sound corny, but it's like she just vanished into thin air. Oh no. She she she's got to have been taken by an angel at this point, surely. That's got to be what's happened. I can't see any other reason this would happen. And oh god, I hate to think what Larry or Lawrence, whatever we're calling him, um what he's done 
after that, re probably realizing this himself. Oh no, okay. Okay, well I think we need to send Osgood this last clue, which I should have really got last episode, but bloody, oh. Right, anyway, let's just send her this and see what we can do. Must have been awful to know that neither a private investigator nor the police could help. Yeah, that really does suck for Larry. Yeah, luckily, we're neither of those things, because we're going to help. Yeah. You're really getting into this, aren't you? That's the kind of determination we need. <laughs> Osgood fills you with determination. <laughs> we should help them. Yes, 100%. I couldn't agree more. I mean, I literally couldn't agree more. <laughs> God damn it, is that a math joke? We need to redouble our efforts at finding Lawrence and Natasha. So, what's the plan? Ideally, UNIT would be the best agency to handle this. These types of odd cases are our specialty, after all. So, what do you think we should look into next? Oh, you're asking me for once. Um, yes, look into Wester Drumlins. That might be important. Yes, finally! You're right. Lawrence's messages to Sally do imply that there is something off about that place and the connection to Nat's disappearance somehow. Yes, finally, we're getting somewhere. It's a big old house in London, not far from where Lawrence lives. Clearly, something happened there in the past. I've managed to recover some new data. Let's see what we can find out about this place. What are you going to do? I'm going to investigate Lawrence's house personally. Oh my god. I'm just getting some more stuff here so we can... Ooh, more images. Okay. I'm going to investigate Lawrence's house personally. With both him and his wife disappeared, let's just hope I'm not the next one to go missing. Ooh, okay. Right, let's see what new images we've got. Okay. Oh, we've got images of Wester Drumlings. Oh, so we can't actually open the Wester Drumlings ones. That's a shame because they were mentioned. They was the first to go, apparently. The first files to, like, corrupt and whatever. Um, when the phone was going down, that was mentioned in them chat logs. Uh, so let's just see. What are these? Oh, two... See, that's another, another lot of files we can't open. That's annoying. So, I don't think there's actually anything new on the photos we can look at at the minute. That's annoying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. No. There's literally a weeping angel in the phone. Oh, no. What am I meant to do now? Am I meant to just continue? Oh, that is so creepy. But where's 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 the two people shadowy figures gone? Because I assume that was meant to represent um, Nat and Lawrence. Oh my god. Um, Mr. Flint sent an audio recording, it says. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll get to that in a minute. Mr. Nightingale, what do you want? I've tried to be civil about this, and against my advice, you continue to be a thorn in my side. Mr. Flint, I have no idea what you're on about. If you have any issues with renovations, you'll have to bring that up with the court. Save it! I've spent two hours cutting up all that red tape you tried to throw in my direction. You can't stop me from doing what I wish with my property. I don't understand 
Why don't we talk about this? This is not a discussion. Just let it go and walk away. My previous email stands. Now we've seen that email, very aggressive. And we're gonna hear him. Here we go. This is what Mr. Flynn actually sounds like. I said three sugars, you absolute imbe- Mr. Nightingale, my dear chap, how did it get to this? I will tell you how it got to this, Nightingale. Your insane crusade to try to stop me carrying out renovations in my cellar. Now, most people know me as an easygoing man who... For God's sake, make a fresh cup and get it right this time, you glistening simpleton. An easygoing man who prefers to find common ground. But in this case, the only grounds in question belong to me. Wester Drumlins is mine to do yes. with as I wish. And I intend to open up its cellars, attempt to coerce or scare me again, and I shall contact both my lawyers and the police. Actually, I rather think the boys in blue would be fascinated by your tales of killer statues, might even get you committed. And if you think you could remain silent when they pull you in for questioning, the chief constable is an old golfing friend of mine. He'd make you sing, Nightingale. He'd make you sing. I've so enjoyed our little chat. Toodle pip. That was a threat. That was a legit threat. Okay, let's scan that audio clip. And it does confirm, which we extremely strongly believed, Mr. Flint owns Wester Drumlins. Like, that's that's basically all the right, really good information we've got out of that, that he owns Wester Drumlins, and of course, we highly suspected this, because who else would it be? But yes, that just confirms it. There's no denying it, okay. And obviously, it sounds like he actually knows about the Weeping Angels in the cellar and that he, he's been warned not to move them. So, huh, that's kind of interesting. He's actually told him not to move the Weeping Angels because they're dangerous, which, Considering the fact, like, he's really sort of an out-the-picture person, even though he owns the building, it's kind of surprising that um, he's actually been informed of all this information. Oh! Is this Rani? It's got to be Chandra! Or however you say it. Something like that. Ah, oh, Chandra! Oh, my God! We've been messaging Rani! Wait. Now this is, I'm not going to make the mistake as last time when there was a reply email. I read the, I read the second email first, so this is the reply. So I ought to ring the, read the first email. So let's check, is, is there only one email? After, yeah. Okay, so I need to read the first email, so it actually, I'm reading it in order, or it ju it's just really confusing. And, okay, I'll scan it now, I'm going to read it again anyway, but I'm going to scan it anyway. The things I've seen, the stuff I know about, well, most people wouldn't believe a word of it. The fact you listen and understand means the world to me. Clyde was right! Oh my god, Clyde's in this as well! Oh, oh this is so cool! Why is th why is this so cool? Oh my god! Ah, oh, this is so awesome that he's bridging Sarah Jane with it. Oh my god! So we've got Unit, which I, I know isn't actually a spin-off, but of Doctor Who, but it, it's sort of its own entity in Doctor Who. Um, and then you've got like the Sarah Jane gang. Oh my god! If if they suddenly bring Torchwood into this, I'm going to lose my shit. I'm going to be like, this is the coolest game ever. Oh my god, I never expected this to happen. And the funny thing is, I can totally imagine if somebody wasn't aware, like, 
didn't know Sarah Jane, you could still follow it on as if it's just another person that just happens to know about weird phenomena and that believes weird phenomena. Ah, oh, this is so cool. This is such a good game. I see his homeless charity just opened its third shelter. Ah, oh, that's an interesting thing. Because I, I, I don't know if this is... I'm pretty sure this is actually canon. So that's interesting that the like Clyde's gone to... is uh, like, worked with homeless things. I guess that sort of makes sense because I do believe there was an episode where nobody could remember him. So he knows what it's like to be homeless. That's actually kind of clever how they've taken that spin on that because that would have deeply affected him. Damn, I'm thinking back to Sarah Jane Adventures now in a Doctor Who game. Oh my god. I didn't I didn't expect this to suddenly happen. <laughs> Looks like it's time to go back to Osgood and give her our findings. Really didn't seem to find that much this time. Which is odd. Okay. Yeah, we've only actually got two clues for her. Oh. Wrong button. Hang on. Yes, I thought so. There was an article about Wester Drumlins on the website you scanned earlier. Wait a second, look. Carl Nye Walker is an acronym. Can you see what of? No! No, I can't! What? What's it an acronym of? No, tell me! I'm so confused! I can't believe you didn't spot it immediately. Carl Knight Walker is an anagram of Lawrence and Sally. God damn it! Oh! Really? Is it actually an acronym? Oh my god, that's bloody annoying. Oh. I remember Lawrence telling Sally someone new owns it now. Interesting. I suspect Lawrence would have tried to... Oh my god. Right, okay. Answer. Watcher 9327. Watcher 9327. Watcher 9327. Watcher 9327. Okay, we've wrote that down because we've got shock or shark. One seven four. Okay. Um, we've hit a dead end. I don't know how much more we can do on our own with just the phone data to go on. This might be in Wester Drumlins. Yes. That's true. Only strong lead we have. Whatever is going on, Wester Drumlins is at the centre of it. Lawrence seems to believe that anyway. I managed to contact a colleague of mine to have a look round Wester Drumlins. You'll fit in right with us at unit. Anyway, I'll drop Alicia a message now. Meanwhile, you could look through the phone again and see if you've missed anything. Let me know if you find something. Right, okay, so that's what we've got to do now then. We've got to... Oh my god, Mr. Flint's calling us! Just as I was about to end the episode. Hello, Mr. Flint. Is this a video call? Mr. Nightingale, Lawrence, Larry. I was devastated to hear about your wife, Natalie, I believe her name is, or was. But it does rather prove my point that you should end your fixation with my property, Wester Drumlins. Oh my god. I've been a patient man, Larry. Throughout all your scaremongering and, let's be frank, your threats. But I've instructed my lawyers, Derbyshire and Mills, to seek a restraining order against you. Your obsession with my property something. must cease forthwith. That's just something you have to face. Incidentally, my contractors have reported seeing a finger on the grounds of WD so on several occasions. Call, I think we both know it's you. 
naughty, naughty. So I've upgraded the property oh security God, and like, you would be like ill-advised to, like to, to go on another now. one of your snooping I, expeditions. I want to see where this goes. Call it a day, Mr. Nightingale. It is over. I don't want you within a stone's throw of Wester Drumlin's. Wow, um, okay. I guess we'll continue on a little bit more now. I wasn't seeing all this coming, okay. Uh, good news, bad news, okay. I think we've a chance to recover more data. Bad news, we have a very, very, we have to be very, very quick about it. Oh my God, okay. What, how, yeah. Let's, okay, if we've got to be quick about it, let's get on with it. Go. Some of these items you scanned earlier look corrupt. They contain random numbers and pieces of text. Do you remember? Yes. Yes, I remember. The data of those items is shifting and changing, which is very strange. But that means I might be able to reconstruct some information from them. I need you to hunt down those remaining corrupted items and scan them now. Go, 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 go. Right, okay. We're going to be really quick. Many unbearable hours later. I don't know. I don't know where this missing thing to scan is. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh, here we go. It was a article on Into the Unknown I must have missed. Ah. Interestingly, it's got the same image as the person that keeps ringing me. What's your very own style? Um, not interested. Let's try it again. Okay. Corrupt found, yes. Took me ages to find that. I'm gonna have cut it down for you guys, because I'd, I'd, I'd never come across this bit before, somehow. Oh, <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back a second. That's a normal photo of them. Oh my God. Does that mean we're getting close to the answers? Okay, the last piece of the corrupt puzzle. The final piece, good job. Hmm. They definitely all link up together. So now we're literally doing a jigsaw puzzle. Okay. Oh, uh, I think that joins up with that. Okay. One minute, 37 seconds later. Here we go. West Drumlins. Right. Oh, and yay, everything's corrupted. Yay. And when I'm saying yay, I'm being really sarcastic. But. Oh, God, can I even exit this? I can't even exit. Okay, I was gonna say I'll leave it there, but it's not even gonna let me exit. Uh, okay. So, outside west of Drumlins. More of outside. Oh, great. Yeah, look, there's a weeping angel in one of the photos. I would have never have guessed that. Oh, great. Oh, look, there's another one. I can't scan that one for some reason. Whoa! Oh no. No, 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 no. This
this. I'm not liking where this is going. You know what? Yeah, no, we are leaving the episode here. Absolutely, we can come back to this another time. I don't like where this is going. Um, so, yeah, no, we're leaving the episode there for today and we can deal with whatever's to come with this creepy, creepy goings on with this phone for next episode. Okay, because it seems like next episode's going to be pretty intense. So let's see where that goes. And oh my god, okay. Yeah, so there we have it. There is episode three of The Lonely Assassin. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it's not too long of an episode. Um, I hope not. I hope I can condense it down. But yeah, it really looks like the story is progressing along. And weirdly, weirdly, I'm getting... Bad, bad feelings for what's coming next. I feel like what's coming next is really gonna mess with me, if you know what I mean. Yeah, mm, okay. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Remember to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribes are always appreciated, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to hear about our latest videos. And I've been Stephen of the Fracture Moon Network, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.